thrust center and return, disengage counter thrust. Inception of a parry and preem and tears. They're the same terms now as when the game was a matter of life and death. The broadsword, the weapon of the Crusades. Weighs five pounds. You cur! And can tire a man in minutes. It's used like a baseball bat. To fend off an opponent? To break through his armor? With enough power, you can break a man's sword. Disarm him. And crush through his armor. Yep. Very effective. Its use didn't require much finesse. Its design? Simple. Two sharp edges and a lot of weight. It won and lost the wars of Europe from the Dark Ages to the Renaissance. No one had heard of the cut and thrust, and no one cared until the rapier. The rapier, unlike the broadsword, it was lighter, easier to wield, and much, much longer. The sword of the Renaissance and the Three Musketeers. D'Artagnan called it the frog sticker. The rapier affords you the advantage of both speed, but reach as well. An excellent weapon for cutting a man here or here, as well as thrusting through here. An excellent weapon, durable and light. The rapier was so efficient, so deadly, that the swordsmen of their day found it necessary to alter their stance and body posture in order to present their opponents with a smaller target. The left hand became a counterweight, and defense positions, or parries, protected the vital targets, the heart, the sword arm, the legs, and the head. And your target? Well, anything you could hit with a cut, a thrust, or a lunge. You see? Until the court sword. By the middle of the 1600s, the cord sword had replaced the rapier. Designed to skewer a man with its razor sharp tip. The sharp cutting edge was no longer used. The cut was considered inelegant and very messy. Designed to fit the hand and settle the argument. The cord sword was very quick and very accurate. A court sword duel, an honorable death at the hands of a courteous adversary. Mr. Sutton? My pleasure, Mr. Weary. You see, if I can, I want to get him to expose some part of his body, his heart, his leg, his sword arm. Failing this sleight of hand, I want to control his blade to my own advantage. He will then try to reattack. But the real game is mental. It is physical chess at lightning speed. The Olympic contest. The game is now the sport. What counts is the most skillful hand. And the quickest wit.